please hit that subscribe button. Hey everybody. Better suited to win the Stanley Cup this season. If you are new to the channel, Washington Capitals, the Boston Bruins. Locked on any scores, and we're live. Hey everybody, so quick video here on some pretty interesting news-ish type uh, stuff going on around the NHL. Um, kind of the talk of hockey Twitter today was that the NHL is still considering having the NHL draft, the 2020 NHL entry draft, in June this year, which is really interesting because the season is obviously not over. So... Apparently, there was a conference call today between the, the league and all the GMs of the different teams, and uh, according to Bill Daly in the NHL, that is something that is still on the table and still being talked about as a possibility. Now, that does not mean that it's necessarily going to happen, and I personally don't really know how it could happen. Uh, I think the draft is going to get pushed till September, or at least late August, but Apparently, according to Hockey Twitter today and all the insiders and everyone coming out of that conference call, that is still a possibility to have the, the draft in, um, in June of this year, which, again, I really don't know how that would work because you have so many conditional draft picks and a lot of those conditions re re revolve around the team, a team making the playoffs or not, or how far they go into the playoffs. Or, you know, this third round pick becomes a first if the team wins the Stanley Cup. Well, if we haven't finished the season yet and haven't finished the playoffs yet, how do we know if that team won the Stanley Cup or not? So how would you be able to, to distribute those uh, conditional draft picks that have been traded um, throughout the season or during last season or whenever it was dealt. I mean, obviously this is a very unprecedented situation. There's a lot of fluidity to it where things are changing on a daily basis. I just find it really interesting that the league is even still considering having the draft in June. And obviously it would be a virtual draft, you know, through Zoom or whatever, the way that the WNBA did and uh, the NFL is doing. And it's going to be, it wouldn't be an in-person draft, obviously, but I, it's just, I don't understand how they could have it in before the season ends. Like, there's so much regards to draft order with regards to conditional picks, all of that, that, you know, how do you navigate that before the season even ends? So much, so much of that is, you know, you don't know until the season is over. So maybe they'd have to change the rules for a year. Maybe the uh, conditional picks would get bumped off into the 2021 draft and and uh, wouldn't count for this year. I, I mean, I don't know. I, I don't work for the league. I'm, I don't, I'm not, probably not the smartest person to be trying to answer these questions. It just seems really odd to me that, that they could possibly have the draft before the season is over and we don't know, you know, which team ends up finishing you know first which team wins the cup where you know how deep teams go to determine those conditional picks maybe they just push off the conditional picks for a year um, I didn't even really think of that until just sitting here talking about it that might be a possibility I'm just I don't <laughs> it's an unprecedented situation there's still a lot more questions than answers I just thought it was really interesting today and Obviously, we don't have a whole lot going on to talk about that. The league is still possibly considering having the draft in June, despite, um, you know, the season not being over and us not likely seeing hockey again until July um, and, and, you know, po probably having playoffs in July and August. So just interesting, something to think about. And uh, obviously, we don't know what's going to happen. There have been absolutely no final decisions made. It's just something that is still on the table and being talked about between the owners, the te uh, team management, and the league. But we'll have to wait and see what happens. But with that, guys, like, comment, share, subscribe, follow on social media. All those links are down in the description below. If you'd like to further support the channel, the links to our Patreon and merchandise store are down in the description as well. Keep spreading the word about this channel. Let's keep this thing growing. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll talk to you guys soon.